This is an old rest house built by the, by the British engineer during the British Raj period. And uh, he named it after his uh, daughter Diana. And uh, the plaque here says it was built in 1938. So it was uh, built around the time when uh, they were, the British were building, were, uh, building uh, Trimu Barrage at River Chenab. It's a wonderful uh, construction. And it, the, the interesting thing about it is that the engineer built three of uh, such uh, rest houses and he named them after, I think, two of his daughters and, uh, and one was named after his, uh, his daughter's uh, friend. And it's a typical uh, British era architecture. And you can also see it has other buildings in the complex like a store, like a kitchen. There you go. I'm gonna give you also a few shots of uh, the building from the inside. This is a fireplace in what must have been a bedroom in those days. There's no bed here, but there's a mirror and a fireplace. That's all left. And that's what the inside of the rest house uh, looks like and uh, I think it's been the same for years and years. Uh, a, there is an attached bath and a double bed. This is the, this is the central, uh, um, I would say, sitting room uh, which is uh, flanked by uh, bedrooms from all sides. So the rest house also has a pantry which must have been like f full of stuff in those old days but now it gives a full on look. You can see the, 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 the plaque here, the plate here which uh, gives you the name of uh, the rest house and the, the year of construction. This building says Tar Ghar, which means uh, telegraph house. So it was the center of communication in those days. It's part of the rest house complex. This one uh, says uh, Storg Garage. And then this one must have been a kitchen in those days, as the name says on the building. But it's all now abandoned and uh, gives a full on look. And then this is the main complex of the rest house which is uh, surrounded by a veranda on uh, three sides this is another of those uh, three rest houses I talked about built by the British engineer um, this one is named as the Yasmin rest house and uh, the, the story goes that uh, this has been named after uh, a friend of his daughter's. Uh, probably she was a Muslim. That's why she's na this is named as Yasmin, not Jasmine. But it's the same structure, same design, everything is the same. And uh, maintains the same uh, austere but beautiful architecture that is uh, so, so common of the British era. I, I simply love the architecture of uh, these buildings. It's simple. The lines are like the curves and lines are very smart, but it looks beautiful and elegant. And in its heyday, this building must have been a beautiful building, but uh, it's lying in disrepair now. So this is third of the rest houses, three rest houses that were built by the British engineer and this one is called Joanna rest house or Joanna Bangla. Um, it's also built uh, close to the Rangpur canal. All three are actually are along the Rangpur canal and the same architecture you can see it here. I'm really fascinated by these buildings.